Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to be looking at some arena gameplay and kind of the build that I run in arena. Um, one of the most fun builds for me at least is running the blood letter and this is going to be my build for uh, arena. Uh, we're going to be running a, a Grandmaster's blood, blood letter, a 7.2 item. Uh, obviously, uh, you do not have to go this crazy with um, you know the gear. You don't have to go 7.3 or 7.2. Uh, or 6-2 even, you can literally run into Arena with 5-1 and be just fine. The only reason I did this is because I wanted to uh, run high gear because I don't really get that chance to run it in open world. I'm not going to run a 7-3 cape. So basically, you don't get that chance elsewhere. Uh, so I use it in Arena because you don't lose your gear in Arena. Um, but this is going to be the build I'm going to be running. I'm going to be running the Blood Letter, uh, the Sunder Armor for damage reduction, or not damage reduction, but the Magic Resist and Armor Resist going down which will help with my uh, lunging stab doing a lot of damage um, then I'm gonna run the dash to get in and out of areas quickly and then I'm gonna run the lunging stab and the deep cuts which inflicts a little bleed uh, on the hunter's hood I run the hunter's hood because the retaliate is very very strong helps me get uh, kills on players all the time by popping the retaliate getting them weak by their own damage and then just popping the E on them uh, for the lunging stab to finish him off and then the balanced mind obviously so we're going to go down to the mage robe now the mage robe is also very very strong it's going to buff your resistances by 70 per, uh, by 70 for five seconds um, and it's going to purge anything they do to you so this is one of the strongest weapons uh, or gears pieces in the game uh, this mage robe so and then I go the increases your damage and heal power by eight percent which is also very 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 strong uh, and I'm going to go to the Grandmaster's Assassin's Shoes, and I will be using the dodge. The dodge is so strong because of the invincible during the roll. And after you roll, your move speed is increased by 40% for 4 seconds. Um, and then I go to the Balanced Mind as well. Uh, the biggest part of this build is probably running the Taproot. Uh, the Taproot gives you a ton of health. I'm going to go in and just kind of auto-attack uh, whoever the hell I want, and just being able to back out at any point in time because I have 534 max hit points. Uh, plus on this uh, weapon alone, which is absolutely insane. You'll see right now I'm running a blood letter with 3,106 health. Obviously, this won't be the case in Arena as everything does get capped uh, capped off in the Arena and it lowers your rating overall. So I'll be at probably 2,300, 2,400 health, but that's still a lot compared to the other players. So I'll also be running a Thetford Cape, uh, which will give me a Chain Lightning that deals a lot of damage up to four enemies. Um, it'll also just help with burst damage as I am going a lot of defensive abilities. Down here you can see I have the Purging Shield, the Retaliate, and the Dodge. Um, and the Dash is kind of a aggressive but also a passive ability as well. So what I like to do is run minor Poison Pots in case I want to use Poisons inside. Because Poisons, remember, do, uh, do a little bit of damage. But they also uh, give your resistances reduced by 25%. Per, uh, 25 uh, per pot so it's pretty strong if you pop that and then you know use a lunging stab I didn't really use it much in the video coming up but it is strong so uh, you can run that if you'd like but I would not suggest anything above T4 um, and then beef stew uh, beef stew just improves your damage by 13.5 percent for 30 minutes uh, you should run a T7 or T8 pot probably when you jump into these it's you know it's gonna last you the whole arena it's not gonna be very costly uh, it's just a lot of fun to jump in an arena and kind of destroy. So I'm going to kind of show you guys uh, what I did with this blood letter build. Uh, it allows you to get in and out of places so quickly and actually execute uh, other players. So I will have my mic muted during this uh, arena battle, but uh, you will be able to hear all of the comms of the other players. I will not be playing with my usual team, but with some players uh, in the guild for the sake of the video. So... I hope you guys do appreciate this video and like the content. Let me know if you guys want to see more arena or more blood letter builds or what do you want to see more of. Uh, just let me know in the comments below and make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. I guess see you next time. One spec. Spec it was what gives you your power. No, but you can... Uh, I don't know how to speak. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, mastery is a lot easier. Right, to get. I'll, uh, I'll be the runner dude. You call it the splitter. <clears throat> Where are you going, graphic? Yeah, I got this, but I can just one v one everyone. So 
Doesn't matter if they come to our point. They're healer. Do they have one? Yeah. He got me. All right, I'll go top. They don't have a healer. They don't have a healer. It's a frost staff. So should be an easy game. Just get on midpoint. I'm asleep. They slept me. <laughs> yeah, so that claw amazing. guy. I'm rotating right top right. I should have ate a fish. Oh. Rotating mid. Not fine, dude. Just me. Oh, they slept me, bro. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Fucking scrub. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, what's up, dude? Why are you running? <laughs> I love this graph. I love you, graphic. You're just so fitted. You're like yeet. My God! What the fuck is this guy's hard on? For? Get off! Me. Yeah! Run away! Cool. Good shit, guys. So right there, you're going to see I am going to a little bit overextend. Uh, I think that's going to be my only death this game, or if I have more deaths, I believe that is going to be the problem with all of my deaths in these three arena games I played last night. I just kept overextending because this build allows so much getaway. Uh, so you need to make sure you're not you know, overextending to a point where you don't have that escape. Um, I, I really thought I could get out there, and I, I obviously couldn't. So I did overextend there, and that was my one death, but this is a lot of fun, and you'll be able to keep seeing it. I need the mana, guys. Kill the guy top right. Hard to admit. The stud! Bye. I just wanna peg him like that. 
Look at this guy. Watch this shit. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> they still have yet to send someone top right to get their point. <laughs> the They're not going to. They're like the most. Oh, there you go. Oh, they finally shit. did it. Hey! <laughs> Took them three rounds. Oh, they got us. They finally captured a point, boys. The off screen fucking plays. I'd be so mad if I was that tank. Poor guy. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Dude, they got me! They dropped Let's their see if they actually sent someone top to cap theirs. Only one cap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's raining tacos. Three, two, two, one, win. <laughs> Good shit, guys. Alright, two more. That's <laughs> one more is easy.